and then we do you. Okay. That should be it, right? I mean, technically we have him already with the uh, world for rage, but this is also fun. It's gonna be a while, guys. Anytime now. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Oh, I think it's dead, guys. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. Another fantastic magical morning. And today, we're gonna keep on trying out some new cards in the latest Bloomberg release. Uh, and try to rank up. And we just got demoted from platinum down to silver, so it's... Our goal to try <laughs> to get back up at least to gold, who knows. Uh, so there's a couple of new cards in this, uh, it's the World's for Rage deck. Mainly because of this card, this is the high player, this is the reason why I'm playing it. It's Iris Iridescent Vine Lasher, 1 mana 1 2 with Offspring 2, which is a new mechanic in which you pay 2 extra and you get a token that's a 1 mana token copy of the creature. And as landfall, whenever land you control enters, this creature deals 1 damage to target opponent. So that plus, you know... Aftermath Endless is pretty good. It's also, yeah, so yeah, it's just really good. We're gonna have a lot of mana It's not impossible to offspring it and we do play with you know the Pitiless Carnage Which was a, the addition from the previous set OTJ in which we sacrifice a number of permanents and then we use you know This to get all the lands back. We just nuke the opponent to death We also have four virtue strength to get mana not only that to get back the wine lash to get in this uh, Get by aftermath, and this is interesting because we don't really need necessarily Nissa in this. Nissa is a high player, and she's really cool, but we don't really need her. We can win without her, which is nice. It's nice to have an alternative win condition besides the World Soul Rage, because you can kill them really quick with this card. This card can kill the opponent rather very fast. And on a new card reprint is of course Fable Passage, which is a cool card I like. Uh, it's just a uh, sacrifice search for a basic land card, put onto the battlefield tapped, like. Um, uh, you know, evolving wilds, but then if you control four more lands, it comes into untapped, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, that's really all there is. And as you can see, we lost all our cities, the other fetch lands, so we put in 12 different ones. The problem with these is that these don't sacrifice automatically as they come in and don't give you a land. The positive is you can pick whatever basic land you want. So that's why we really need spelunking in, in order to make sure these just come in and we just go fetch, essentially. Um, because and the problem is the good thing is you can time when you want to sacrifice them So if you you can have these out on battlefield then play Anissa and then sacrifice them and you can get the function You can also save them and sacrifice them when you have this in your hand and you want to wait and you can if you have two of these <laughs> If you have two of this in hand you copy them so you get you know four of them and then one of these can do eight damage, right? So it's pretty cool. So with that being said, let's go to the first game Okay, we get to go first. Uh, the hand is, I think, fine. We do have our win condition. And Spelunking, which is really nice, so we'll keep it. We cannot do this without Spelunking. So let's get you out and pass the turn. Against Collective Jive. Okay. It's always interesting when you set or complete rotation happens, because you might see some new decks. Get rid of you. Give myself a swamp. Again, I built this deck rather quickly because I don't really have much time to do much else. Uh, see, that was a mistake, for example. Why don't I play the creature before I play the land? I could have saved one damage. Uh, let's do this. Get you back. And we'll pass the turn here. See if he has a burn spell for my little. Maybe he doesn't know what it is. Maybe he doesn't read it because I didn't actually utilize it. Stormcatcher, right? Interesting. Um, we definitely need uh, red mana. Yeah. So this is a solid 3 damage, 
by just existing. Four here, because it's not gonna block. That's fine, because I'll make two more. Okay. Oof. Isn't that beautiful? That's uh, a lot of damage. Do you think we'll live another turn is a question. So this is what, 6 damage? Question is, do you think you can kill me next turn? Because we got what? 1, 3, 6. Let's start 6, 12 damage next turn. I guess. Um, man, hard is uh, 18 damage next turn. I'm trying to find a way to change this one to something else, but I can't really think of anything. Mm. Again, like I said. Very fast mate attack. What is he doing now? That doesn't change the fact that I can still do it. Okay, sure, I'll take it. Alright, so this is 3 damage. What does it even do? I don't know. Uh, 4? It's essentially over. Yeah, it's a good game. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Alright, we get to go first. We have some important cards. <laughs> I forgot about this whole Nissa thing. We just win with it against the Wine Slasher. Gauss card. Ramp and your opponent dies. Sweet. You just have to survive long, and aggro is still as pay it's still pretty ag aggressive. But whenever a greasy, greasy us is ready, all right. So, I mean, field passage technically is the best one to save since four mana more, it comes into play untapped. Aha! Then it's just a very good fetch land. Okay. I want this to be black. Really dumb. I need to start paying attention here. This is the second time I play, played the land before I played my creature. We could have done another damage here. Elementary stuff. Yeah, use your super good. Minus two, minus two, whatever you have. I don't know. Cut down in response. Let's get a red land. Sure. Guess we should have gone green there, but we didn't. So opponent's playing some... Okay. So, it's the, uh, I guess, Nissa. Well, he's gonna take the World Soul. Nothing else makes any sense. Yeah. Which is fine. Should have gone green mana. Really stupid average gamer. This is. This game's not gonna make it onto YouTube, is it? I'm, I'm too stupid. It's really early in the morning. I am trying to do this before I'm flying back to Sweden. This video. So I had to, like tell my soon-to-be wife that I need to play a children's card game so don't be mad if I um, what do we have three four five so we guess we can do both just pick green here you idiot so that's like 
put on her favorite show and um, <laughs> sneak out. And she doesn't really enjoy my me doing this at all. So I'm trying. So I'm trying to get all record enough for three videos. Maybe then maybe find a way to edit. So, but I don't know what the opponent playing here. Nice little Life King deck, I guess, is playing. So he needs to lose some life. Why don't he do take damage with this? Missed opportunity. So much land do we have here? We have six, and we need seven. So it comes down to what we get with this one. You can also use... <clears> hmm... <throat> because we get two field passages, it's essentially two lands back. This... So it don't really matter. Oh yeah, they come in to play tap, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got the bad, bad one. How do you do this? Hmm. And it's here. <laughs> okay. I guess he can take Nissa. Alright, congratulations. Yeah, I took you card, asshole. It's like, yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little down here. That menace suck. You know what even sucks more? Uh, not getting what we need. Discard you and um, you then, right? Or do we just don't care? The king decline doesn't really matter. Some more creatures, thank you. That's what we want. We also want one of our draw spells now. Maximize it, get it all back. Four, five. Um, I can do three, honestly. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. That's it. So, maybe do this first then. <laughs> Found the creature I want to use. Get you down. Green. Let's see here. <clears throat> we do have enough if I do this. Wow. Really not cool. Let's do this. I think we got this game. I'm gonna wake up. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up. Seems like they fixed the whole rope bug thing at least. That's good. All you are out. 
So we need. Oh yeah, there's nothing left. Uh, so we need to use. We need to tap everything. And sacrifice it all, right? So if I pay six, three, we need six. So this should work. Sacrifice everything. I just need to find myself either one. I'm not drawing everything now, am I? 23, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Only one of you, I think. <laughs> that could have been a mistake. Alright. Uh, alright, 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 alright. Did I seriously not get it? Oh, we got this, it's fine. So first we need to get you. Six lands left, we're good. You. We can do one, two, three. And then we do you. Okay. That should be it, right? I mean, technically we have him already with the uh, worlds for range, but this is also fun. It's gonna be a while, guys. <laughs>
I'm just gonna be furious. Don't target them. Just let them be. They haven't done you anything. Okay. What is this? How do people with 200 plus cards find answers to what I'm doing? Land, please. It's not land, mate. It's not goddamn land. Because if I do this... What is this anyway? I don't want enough for color. It's just a two for three. Done with this bullshit. Yes, they are not gonna come into play. Oh, why did I get this one? So, as you can tell, not as good. Compared to how it was with the other ones. Who would have gotten three lands, they would have been sacrificed right away. But with Spelunking, they can come into play untapped, and then we solve it. Ah, yeah, you surveil. But the benefit is, you can pick when you want to sacrifice. So I can do this now. And get some mana at the same time. I guess technically we should have just played out another Nissa. My go, are you really being salty with me? Oh, we got it. Nice. Why am I go? Mm. We have what? Six? Six, seven, eight? Eight mana we have. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I have it. Correct. I think it's... Oh. We have this much mana. Let, let me explain what we would do there. Oh yeah, we get into gold. Great. Fantastic. Um, can I just show you real quick? Thank you. So what would happen is, we have three mana, four, four, tap this for five. I use this, sacrifice everything. We would get a... <laughs> opponent. I think <laughs> he clicked so much, he got so triggered. Mark Pit. It's not Brad Pitt. Either way, so we have a three, four, five. We use this. We haven't played land, and we sacrifice everything. We draw enough cards. We play a land. Hopefully, it's going to be, you know, um, can't even look at the graveyard. Um, a fetch land. We play it out. Get two more lands, two more mana, and that would be enough to uh, use the aftermath analyst, and then we kill it. But the opponent's triggered. It's fine. All right, let's talk about the deck. So we managed to get out of Scrub Silver, thank God. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit shorter, I think, I don't know. Uh, but it was really fun. Uh, the only new card is, is this, obviously, and I guess Field Passage, but you probably already know Field Passage. And uh, yeah, this is stronger than you think. It can be an alternative in condition alongside World for Rage, sadly. It's, um, it's probably a way to build this around. Honestly, I just took my old deck and threw the Wine Lasher in. So, but it worked. We always, it's just, so we have board wipe, we have fetching these things back, being able to offspring it's really cool, it's just a new mechanic that was kind of fun to try out. And yeah, we just really need Spelunking out so these can come into play untapped. But Spelunking in, we kind of win. This deck is a solid deck. If you want to have some fun playing with this, you can. You could get some wins here and there. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe. And... Have a good fucking time!